One of the main goals of Metal Earth is to understand the processes that result in differential metal endowment. The seismic survey is really one of the tools that we're employing to be able to try to understand this. If you look at a map that has all the mines located on it, they tend to cluster. So some areas will have a lot of mines, and some areas will have very few mines, but the geology looks very similar between the two of them. There must be some process that's involved that results in this different metal endowment in different areas. The seismic survey is really one of the tools that we're employing to be able to try to understand this. Seismic method considered to be the most accurate and intuitive geophysical prospecting method. An array of vibro-sized trucks, each with plates weighing more than two tons, shake the ground and they start from low frequencies to high frequencies. We are recording to 12 seconds of the signals, which gives us 40 kilometer deep into the earth. These reflections are recorded by an array of wireless geophones. We have a 100 kilometer profile that we're supposed to record our seismic data. They just plant their geophones every 25 meters along this 100 kilometer. So four or 5,000 geophones planted along the profile and they're recording the data continuously. So the control room or the house, this is the place that the acquisition geophysicist controls everything that's happening in the server. He orders the fiber-sized trucks to move to the next shot location. When they are ready, he sends the signals to start the sorting. When the swooping is done, he orders the fiber size to move to the next location. When the survey is down, they take geophones from the field, they bring back to that reaper room, and they can extract the shots, exact time, and those reflections, the data that continuously was recorded in geophone. The seismic data and the final images that we will create can be used by economical geologists, mining industry. They can look at these data and they can complement their understanding of the geology of the different areas that we collected these seismic data.